All right. I got to clear some of this off so that I can get to the next post, which was reminding everybody it's our sixth annual hope campaign. Okay. We just started last week, our, the beginning of the annual uh, Community Hope Campaign. I cannot believe September is so close. And that, again, as I mentioned, is uh, Aortic Disease Awareness Month. Look, this started off with September 19th being Aortic Dissection Awareness Day. <sighs> then it turned into a week. And then here at Aortic Hope, we realize dissections are so rare, but aortic disease is much more common than you think. And if we want to try to really help and and propel uh, better diagnosis of dissections and removing dissections, hopefully one day from the equation, or at least significantly reducing it, we got to take a step back. We got to go backwards and we have to identify the people that might be potentially at risk for having a weakening in their aorta to begin with. So that is where the beginning of Aortic Disease Awareness Month came into play. And the reason it's a month is because there's way too much information to try to break it down in a day, way too much to do in a week. And, you know, in, we do have a campaign on Facebook where everybody right now, we're making Facebook profile pictures for people. I've been inundated with over almost 150 people. I'm just kind of for whether it's I'm a, I'm a survivor or I'm a caregiver, um, you can always email me at, you know, at Karen at aortichope.org, C-A-R-I-N, and I'll put one together for you. And we're hoping that starting September, we turn this into a sea of, of red. And, you know, whether it's our, our logo with the hearts or whether it's a personalized profile pic with your own face, um, that's one way to just bring an immediate impact, like why does everybody have this? What does this mean? Uh, but the other way is to participate in this campaign. And I think early on, um, you know, we've been told people, uh, celebrities, sports figures, people who have just their careers have ended because they found out they had a massive aneurysm and it was just a, a career ending situation for them. And we're told this is who you have something in common with. But in reality, I really feel that as a community, we have a lot more in common with our fellow members that are part of the support group, with our fellow members who are trying to run nonprofit organizations of their own, with other fellow caregivers and uh, survivors, and also individuals that are grieving the loss of people, we're kind of in this community. And so we need to just really show the community what hope looks like. So it started off being called, this is what hope looks like. And we held, had people hold signs and it's turned into a little more sophisticated than that. So we will showcase this. It will uh, come out on September 19th. Right now we're collection, collecting photos. I don't care what the photo is. Just don't make it medical. Please don't send me a photo where you have all your IV lines in your tubes. We cannot use that. I'm for it. We just can't. But I'd love a photo if you're doing a hobby, if you're fishing, if you're walking your dog, if you're just standing there with your physician, preferably holding our guide. That would be ideal, right? Or standing next to one of our patient awareness posters or sitting in the car with the seatbelt cover, a photo of yourself playing with grandkids. I don't care what it is. Send us a couple would be great. I would love that. And by sending us the photo, you are acknowledging that you are okay with us using this on our social media platform. So this is going to be very public. It's going to be part of the video. And I guarantee you other pages are going to take it and they're going to want to share it. So no one's ever compensated. We don't drive any income from this. This is, again, just a way of really letting everybody know that we are the face of aortic disease. You know what? It's so interesting. Somebody in the community, I'm not going to name names, even though this isn't horrible, uh, took the profile picture that I created um, and they showed it and they said, you know, I don't have a face that people would easily identify with aortic disease, but I did have a dissection. I, I wrote back, I'm like, yes, your face is exactly what aortic disease is. It isn't, we don't want to stereotype with what we think someone with Marfan's or Lowy Deeds or ehlers Danlos looks like, because for every person that is identified at having a connective tissue disorder, there's five of us that have no clue what it is. All of our faces represent aortic disease because it can happen to anyone, which is why we want everybody to think about their aorta and think about their family and try to identify if anybody is at risk because it can happen to anyone of any age. That's the problem with this. So we are all 
part of this community and we're all going to show that video of what hope looks like. Send your photos into info at aortichope.org and just put the word hope in the subject line and there's a lot that are coming in. But we have, I think if we said until September 14th, I think that'll be enough time uh, to put it together. But if you wanted to see what last year's looked like, that was the link right there. And it was very wonderful and emotional and great. So if you want, check it out.